Okay, so I'm going to start a hardcore game. A new character. Um, it's going to be the stuff of legends. Not a ponytail. Ponytails aren't the stuff of legends. And he's going to have a big bushy beard. That is legendary. There we go. Um, if this is not the stuff of legends, I don't know what it is. Eric Firemane. And so the rule is if I die, I delete. That's that simple. Hardcore world. Ragnarok. End of the world stuff. I've been watching another YouTuber <laughs> try it. Um, they made it up to the second boss and died. Now I haven't played. I've only played up to the second boss. But I think I know a lot more about the game than he does, and I think I can do a lot better than he did. He was using um, the cheat, so every 10 days he was going to um, make the game think that there's an extra player, so every 10 days it gets harder. I'll steal that idea, now that I know how to use cheats. He showed me how to do cheats. Um, so yeah. I, I don't expect I will do very well beyond the second boss because I've never gotten there and that's pretty much when I start dying all the time anyway. Um, but we'll see how we go. I definitely think I can go further than he did. Second boss or bust. That means I need to make the most of all the time. So he lost, he says, because um, right before he started, like literally seconds before he started the boss fight, it went to day 10 and he had to upgrade it to two players. And I can see how that would work, how that would make it difficult. So I'm going to be focused on trying to get um, well it all depends on the seed as well. like. If I land, I can't open my map yet, if I'm on a seed with lots of islands and I need to build a raft before I can get to the second boss, that could be a problem. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do, since time is... I want to I wanna find somewhere very quick to start building. So ideal. Whoa! Right in the trees. Right in the trees. Okay. Whoa. Um. Somewhere close to water, so I can get flint really quick. Oh, there you go. There's my map. All right. So we got mountains there. There's some black forest. Um. Oh, the bird's gonna be bugging me a lot. Eric Fireman needs no tutorial tips. Um, hang on, wait, that also shows me where the boss is. Hello! Oops, where is it? Okay, so maybe I'll build near the boss. No, no, I need to find water, that's right. Yep, okay. Already leveling up, that's a good start. So I want to try and get to the bow as quickly as possible so I can. I don't need to sneak. So I can, um, try and hunt the deer and get a full set of leather. Sod off! Um. This is kind of cool.
See, already now I want to like stop doing a hardcore challenge and just like build a house <laughs> over the top of the rocks, using the rocks as the filler support. Alright, focus, focus. Find some water. Holy shit, where's the water in this map? That's pretty. Actually, I think that is water. So why is it important to go looking for water when you start? Because... There we go, yeah, that is water. Um, these guys, necks, they like to live in the water and they offer some meat. And you want to always have your food buffs on. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm on one health! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! This is not going to be <laughs> the best start. Alright, uh, let's find some berries. So yeah, this is why you kind of always want uh, a food buff happening, because you don't have any health regen. You know, or any bonus health. Oh man. Oh gosh, don't! No, no. Stuff of Legends. Stuff of Legends. Go away, go away. Help me, Hugan. Oh, fuck you. Ugh. Yeah. Could bring ammo and armor. Okay. Alright. Um. We want to stay away from the boar. That was probably a bad idea. All the way up to 7 health. Ooh, there's a lot of berries. Ooh, there's a lot of berries. Let's not lose sight of this place. Hang on a second. So whenever I find a place of interest on the map, I zoom in real close so it's more accurate, and I mark it. Uh, I believe berries respawn every seven days. I've never seen a bunch like this before. So, this will be good for later on in the game when I unlock the cauldron and I need to make jam and I never have enough raspberries. Um, that'll be like I'm considering just building right on this spot. Alright, how much wood have we got? Seven. That's enough to make me a club. I need to go pick up some rocks. So I can make a hammer. And I'm gonna need five at night for a campfire. Uh, at least I don't need to run away from Grey Lynx anymore. I will be getting to the deer, hopefully by like day three, I think is when I want to be able to hunt. Mushrooms, yes please. More regen happening, less likely to be killed by a random boar. Eric Fire, you think Eric Firemane, you think like fist fighting sea serpents, not running away from necks. And every mighty journey begins with the first humble step. Which means I have to spend half an hour picking up mushrooms and flowers. There we go, this is where I like to build in empty spaces. Alright, so we'll head back down to the water. What way's the wind going? I would be. Let's see if we can get around them before they get spooked. So for those who don't know, when you're sneaking up on animals, you want to be looking at the map, mini-map. Great, I've just... how did I fuck that up? You want to be coming at them from the opposite way the wind is going. You want to be downwind of them, because they can smell. Oh, wow! More berries! Back to the deer. Where are they? Okay. No, that's a rock. Where'd they go? Let's get rid of this.
this guy. No. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, no, that's also a rock. There they are. Okay. Let the stamina come back. I'd hate to get right up to them and not be able to swing. That one may see me. Yeah. No, I'm not going to be able to chase. But that's one. That's a good start for day one. See some flint. Let's go get that flint. I like to get the flint early just so that way I can immediately knock out the first workshop upgrade. I can directly get the um, flint axe, which probably the best weapon you can get early game. Yeah, not that there's a whole lot of options for early game weapons, so that's not a huge glowing review of the flint axe, but. About 15 minutes into the recording, that means I've probably got about 5 more days left of day. I'll start building at night um, to just try and harvest as much wood as I can during the day. How many stones? That's just enough. I might make, I don't normally make the stone axe, but I'll chop wood a lot faster with it. It just means it gets replaced really quickly, but that's okay. I've never really played to a time constraint before, so I was just thinking about it. When the resources I'm saving is five rocks and six wood, but I'm spending two extra days to chop enough wood to build a house, it doesn't really add up. Oh god, am I gonna die to a tree? <laughs> Holy shit, that was close. I meant to do that. I'm, I'm much more used to my metal axe. But... Oh shit! I'm pretty sure it's, like, actually impossible to die on the first boss. Um, I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure if you have any sort of PC gaming literacy, um, the first boss has enough skills transferable from any other PC game that you should be able to do it without too much difficulty. So, I think I'm going to try and rush that boss as fast as possible, like before day 7 mark. I should re-eat. There's lots of rocks. Whatever Hugan has to say, I don't want to hear it. I'm Eric Fiume. Okay. I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong button if I don't put that in the right place. Um, get that. Where am I going to put my house? Somewhere flatter would be good. So let's... All right. Yeah. Actually, so the first thing we need to do is make it so that I can use the crafting bench, which means I need to build a roof around it. Building. Um, so I like to go one, two, three, and then roof it. A little 
bit out on the side. Uh, you can do it with two, but then it gets really finicky about whether or not it's properly covered, and I found it's just... I found I'm a liar now. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, so yeah, sometimes you get this where it, it, it wants to be... Should I just do that from now on? Is that going to make... Yeah. No. What? Is it clipping through the wall? I'm going to spend the next 10 in-game days trying to get my workbench to work. It's hard to read because I'm not on flat ground either. So that's definitely inside. And it doesn't look like it's clipping. Let's come out a little bit further then. There we go, okay. Uh, I want a hoe. Oh, I'm going to have to go get more rocks. I knew I should have grabbed more rocks. We're running out of daylight. One rock, two rock, that was easy. Fantastic. Okay, let's put you in the right place so I'm not pressing the wrong button a million times. And leveling ground time. So we want it to be... So when you're leveling the ground, you go on the level that you want to be at and it matches to where you're standing. That mana sucks. We need to get some fires happening so I can cook all this delicious sweet. Okay, that'll do. Um, I only got enough that's alright. Get that happening while I start... Hang on a sec. Let's... Just clear that out of the way a bit. These will pop off in a second. Nope. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah. Oops. One second. Coming! I forgot you were coming. Okay. Alright, I'm back. We're going back to Eric Fryermain. I had a bit of it. Uh, I had someone come and knock on the door and had to deal with a bit of a a slight neighborhood issue, but we're all good. Let's go back to a world where there are no other people, and I don't have to socialize. Where I can talk to myself forever, just the way I like it. And I'm standing in fire. I'm standing in fire. Why am I staying in fire? <coughs> <coughs> that was a good start. <coughs> 